Hey there, it's Pat Moss and nice of you to join me as we are continuing with episode 8 of our Dawn of Men game. Workload's a little high. We got a nice bunch of tech points. We can already advance to the Copper Age, but I would like to do a little more hunting first. So that we can see some of the older animals that might go extinct actually. Although I think the Elesmothorium is already extinct right now. As is the muskox, or we never get hot, had them. That could also be a thing. But animals like the megaloceros, maybe even the cave bear, the mammoth. If we can hunt a few more of those, we will get those cheap extra points. But we have to find them first, and so far they weren't anywhere near. If we go to the primal view. We can see right here there is a few animals here, but those are ibexes. Now. Here we have some Aurochs, which will stay, so also no good. Here we have some of the ancient bison, which is interesting. It's also a Megaloceros here, I think. Yep. So it could be worth it moving this way, because there's a lot of Megaloceros here. There's a um, couple of ancient bison that might go extinct at some point. Those are all animals that remain. Of course, I'm looking for the big mammoth, but um, eh, small chance we'll find that. Could be out here somewhere normal bison they will stay i believe so uh yeah it's it's gonna be a tough cookie to find those mammoths and actually hunt them because there's not a lot around and yeah it's sad but it is what it is could be at a water is there a water source somewhere here where they could be no this is the edge of the map so yeah it'll be tough but hey let's get going now let's make sure that at some point we will hunt a couple of animals. For now, let's speed up and let's make sure we keep developing our little village. Um, we have everything that leads up to this age, which is good. I see two granaries spread around town. Oh, three. Oh, good. There's three. Um, but it's never going to be hurtful to get another one. Especially on this side of town. So let's get a granary out there. Make sure that none of the storages can store any food. Which is working out. We only have three storages. So that might also be a thing to get extra. And we might want to get an extra stable at some point. But I'm not sure if we can... Yeah, we can put it in a nice position. They're finishing the defenses here. Also something to keep working on. Making sure that we have enough defenses everywhere. Might even build a couple of extra towers at some point. At places where you might not really expect it. In terms of that we will be uh, placing them. Um, a little bit on hills further out. So that we get an earlier warning about the enemy. Could be helpful. Alright, well... Food-wise, we're good. We have plenty of meat. We have plenty of bread and stuff. So that's all not an issue. And where did the bison go? I think I thought they were in this direction. Oh, they're all moving up here. These are the regular bisons and not the old bisons. That's just regular bears, cave hyenas. All right. Well, there's a lot of animals at this water place. Just not those that I want there. Hmm. Oh, and now I see. I was moving the wrong direction. Yeah. Okay. That, no, that's a reindeer. I was hoping for a megalosis. Yeah, we have to follow this river to get to those animals. Look at what a long walk it is to, to go be there. And right now... Ooh, we got a point for a rolling megalith. That's nice. Right now, we are probably busier doing the harvest than actual, ha actually having time to go out on some hunting. So, yeah... Might be wise to wait off a bit. Animal limits. I know about animal limits. And all the animal limits should be set to... Oh, indefinite. Well, let's set them up to 10. For each animal, I guess. Don't want indefinite numbers. Now, if we get to the certain amount, they will start to slaughter some of the animals. Which might be good, so let's keep that up. Uh, we have some slits. We have a rolling megalith now. Question is, where are they going to bring it? Did I plan on building another one? Oh, here it is. We're going to build the dolmen, of course. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, that's actually a good one because that means extra burial sites. I like that if we can accomplish that. Workloads dropping. They're now doing the sowing in here. And could well be that in the new season we get some nice animals that spawn close. But wouldn't count on it too much. Let's hunt these boar. Or at least tell our villagers that they can do that during the winter. That should not be too hard actually for them to hunt a couple of boar. Same with the Ibexes. They can hunt those. That's fine. They might migrate a bit. But I think our people can handle it. We can also loosen up that one. Alright, let's take a look here. We can see that the defense line at least is now closed off. So from the water we have this defense line. We also continued out here. Have to remove these stones before we can finish it. So let's tell them to chop some stones here. We could continue here for a bit. Maybe pass along these stones. But then we also at some point have to get to the water. And we have to do the same out here. So I'm going to tell them to chop these two trees. We are out of logs, by the way. So apparently, the wood chipping business is going quite well. It's just that uh, they're out of trees to chop. <laughs> now, there goes a hunting posse after the boar, I guess. And I'm going to tell another posse that they can chop some trees out here. Why not? Let's do that. We need a lot more trees anyway. We have the workload down now, so that's good. Let's see, anything we need? No, not really, so I'm not going to sell or buy anything. We'll keep what we have. Sometimes keeping what you have is just a better way of doing stuff. Why get rid of stuff if you don't have to? Um, now, I want to see if we can build on this place. Yes, we can. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. So we can build all this way, actually. And fend off the area. That's pretty cool. So, what we can actually do is continue out here. Maybe something like uh, this. Then I'll see if I can make a gate here too. I don't think we can build on here, but see, it's too steep. And the question, of course, is do we... Oh yeah, we can build a gate right there. Perfect. Well, that's another area that we can defend off. And we survived another winter. There wasn't even snow. Nice. I kind of like that. Well, now there's a lot of sewing to do, which they're busy with. Ooh, a lot of flint. There's some bison and a bear. Oh, that's good. Those are pretty close. For now, let me start by making this a flint area, so that at least they can get a lot of flint here, because we have a limit of 25, so they should be getting flint. And... Maybe we should just go out on a hunt. Do we get the... um? No, see, we don't have the cattle domestication yet. That might be a good one, though, to get. Uh, but for now, let's see if we can hunt the Auro. Let's go. Uh, we have good meat. We have good food. But I think getting the... um. Oh, they're going to travel right now. Alright, you can stay home. That's fine. Uh, well, you know what? Go for the bear. That might be better. Because the Aurochs are moving away. Yep, they're moving away. So let's go for the bear. At least we get rid of the bear. And then we can maybe move on to these bison over there. Alright, that was the bear. Let's see. Because there's another bear here, I think. Yes. Go for it. Oh, this is nice. We do have a good hunting posse now. They're effective. Alright, they killed it. Let's go for some of the bison now. Let's see, because yeah, these are close. No, 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 no. Get the bison off the tree. Okay. Oh, there's a reindeer. Okay, nice. Let's get that one too. Then we're done. We have hunted enough for then. First animal, the normal bison. Oh, oh, and there's a bison attack. Oopsie. Well, people, go help out, kill the bison. Okay, that worked. Let's see, do we have some knives here? Yeah, he has a knife. He doesn't, he has a knife. 
could get some people with knives to do some slaughter work already. Looks like some of them are already busy with it. He doesn't have a knife, he has a sickle, but that's okay. Alright, well, we already answered five bison. That's another knowledge point. 36 knowledge point. We only need 20. Um, now, if we advance into the next age, the thing is, it will get harder and harder for us to defend the settlement against the raiders. So I am kind of inclined to keep working on the defenses for a bit first. But, on the other hand, advancing will have the benefit of us maybe unlocking things like cattle domestication. And we can get plows, which will make a lot of the land more easily worked. So, it has some pros and some cons. And right now, with the high workload, we're going to wait a little bit longer. But I think soon we're going to advance into the next age. Because that will help us get some cattle, maybe. And help out with plows, although we still have to get those plows too, of course. Um, oh, those are only there, so yeah, that's not going to be to our benefit straight off. Okay. Having cattle is also not that beneficial yet. Might be looking for some extra sheep, though, at some point. We'll see. For now, I'm actually not that unhappy with how things unfold. They're going okay. Um, maybe if we can. There's an Ibex. There's a family of cave bears. Yeah. Can't get those yet. These are horses. Can't get those. These are reindeer. Yeah. Oh, I see a mammoth family. Oh, I'm so sorry, mammoth family. But you have got to go. All right. Oh, boy. Workload's going to be real high in the summer for the harvest. But we need those, I think we really need those points. Or basically, I want those points for this. So, let's go, Dio people. Let's bring together a nice posse. And start hunting. Right, you two can stay home, that's okay. Let's go on a hunt. Let's get me some of these. They should be attacking me. Yep, there they come. Yep, two extra knowledge points. That is totally worth it. Okay, people, do you have a knife? No? Yes? Yes? No? Come on, do you have a knife? Yes. Go slaughter so that they can bring everything in. You have a knife too. You can sleep later. Go! Alright! Those were the extra points that I was looking for. Should also be giving us a good amount of raw skin and stuff. So that will be to our benefit. There should be a lot of resources laying around here. Now look at this. Wow, 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 wow. That is just amazing. I think we've reached the limit of... Uh, meat and stuff yeah i'm gonna set the limit for meat to indefinite yeah and same with fish why not get indefinite numbers i don't care numbers for bread can go up to 100 percent all right there we go cool so now they can keep butchering these although i have to tell them to do it again otherwise they won't look at this somebody picked up some nice goodies Oh yeah, skin that one. I want more hides. What are the limits for hides? 100. Okay, oh, that's good. That's good. That means that we can still get a lot of those. And if we can get some more leather, that would actually be very good too. Because we're going to need a lot more leather now than, than we need the other hides. So let's make sure we get it. And let's help them out by telling them that we want extra towers out here. Then I want an extra... Oh, no, that's a gate. I want an extra platform out here. No, I can't build those because it's too steep. Well, that's okay. Let's build a platform out here if we can. Yes. Oh, we can build one there. Perfect. Can we build a tower in between? No, not really. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. This is going well. Finally, they spawned pretty close. 
to their own regret, I guess, because uh, eh, they're no longer out. Mouflons. Are there more mouflons? No, that's just one. Oh, that's sad. Because if there were more, we could get more sheepies. But yeah, that ain't gonna happen now. But here we have... Ah, well. You know what? We'll do hunting and taming. So hopefully we can capture a few of those. The dolmen is ready. Two extra knowledge points and more burial space. Ten people can be buried here. Right now, we don't have the need for ten buried people. So that is good. Let's keep working on that little part. I wonder if we can actually... I don't think we can build... The fence is here, but I do think they can walk on it, so... Yeah, that is an issue. New sheep born. Oh, we got quite a few crops affected. With some disease, which is always a bad thing. Uh, let's go all the way up here. Then... Let's go down a bit with the wall. Like that. And then we will see where we're gonna head, but... Uh, Alright, this is the tree cutting area. Let's make it over here so that these will all go away, I guess. We have a storm. That's not really my problem. They finished the wall here. Yeah, workload's really high now. So I'm not going to add the extra walls to it. We'll wait a bit. They still have to harvest this. And we got a poor harvest, so not so good. But hey, we got a ton of meat from those mammoths. Look at this. They're all just completely filled up. Everything's drying and stuff. 500 cured meat. Alright, we're gonna advance to the next age now. Uh, yeah. We're gonna take the gamble. And we can immediately go for some extra stuff. Nice fruit trees. I don't care about fruit trees. I want these two. Good, look at this. Donkeys. I don't think... Can the donkeys already carry stuff now? Uh, no, that's the wrong button. No, we can't make a cart yet, so that's not going to work. I think we should make a couple of extra spare sleds already. Even though we have our high workload. Defenses, yeah, we're going to work on our defenses. It's okay. Metallurgy. Oh, we can get copper mines already. I don't think we have done any of that yet. Uh, maybe we should. <laughs> Might be an interesting feature. Uh, that's not copper. Copper's supposed to be green. Do we have some clothes? There's copper, but that's quite far out, actually. Is there some on this side? Oh, here. Right, we have to get some copper mines. We also get a charcoal pit. Oh, boy, we still have a lot of works to do. Now, it is what it is. We have to set it up, so let's just set it up. I don't really like it. Okay, uh, let's build some pit furnaces in one area. So, one and two. Then we need a metal smith, which can go right there too. And we need charcoal pits. Alright, there we go. Uh, lots of work, but once it's done, we can start to work on some metal. Which will be nice. That will get us better tools and stuff. Better weapons that we really need. Luckily, we do have a sizable population. So the chance that right now a raid comes with 50 people that will really destroy us is not the highest chance. Uh, which is good. I like that. So, But we have to keep growing our town. Instead of room for six more. Would be nice if we could unlock something and get better housing. But that's for the next level. So I think we might need a few extra of these houses too. But um, wait until the winter starts. No storage slots left. Yeah, I was a bit afraid of that. I was already talking about maybe we should get some extra storage space. Well... Now you see why. We're already at the limit. So that might be more important. Let's get another storage hut. Let's build it over here. So that we have some storage spread out over town. No. Yes, right there. Wooly rhino gone extinct. Mammoths got extinct. We have sleds. So that's an extra knowledge point. Three sheep born. We now have 20 animals. Extra knowledge point. So, wow. That's good. I like that. Workload's way too high, though. So that needs some extra work. Workload's too high. Yeah, that's what I told. Luckily, this is not too long to build. 
And once some of these structures are ready, look at this. They're building a charcoal pit now. They're building a pit furnace now. That should really help out in terms of lowering the workload a bit again. Although the sewing is starting there, so that, that's not really beneficial. Yep, yeah, more knowledge points. Two more. And we can unlock the next thing already. That should probably be carts. All right, so these will be making copper, both. And these should be making some copper tools. So let's do that. Straight off, we just need some copper first. <laughs> that might be helpful. Uh, now they were building copper somewhere out here, there. Yeah, I need to bring the logs in, but once they do, they can build the copper mine. Same out here. Oh, they're building this one already. So we're going to get some copper in. Three people max can do that, so that's nice. Workload's down to 100%. That's good. We can unlock something new. Let's get some cards. Zaville is unlocked. So yeah, we can build a couple of cards. Can we now already make the card maker then? The workshop, yeah. I want to build a workshop. Which is always a bit of a weird thing because a workshop to me sounds like it's a shop where you can work or where you can shop for a job or something but okay it's okay it's a rock pile because i think we need to store some charcoal in here maybe we can actually put it somewhere here yes we can can we put it there yes we can i'm gonna get rid of this one i'm gonna build one Maybe right here too, yeah. So we can store charcoal in here. So let's take the rest off. So the charcoal goes into this one, and then all the iron goes into this one, or the um, oh, storage hut, survive the winter. Very good. Sheep has been slaughtered. New workshop is ready. Now this should be making us sleds and carts, and maybe some fishing rods. That should be it. And by doing so, we have to set those limits, but they should be set to 10. Yeah, 10 plows, 10 carts, 10 sleds. So this will now maintain a steady supply of that. And once we start to get some carts out, you know what? I'm going to set the limit to 5 for now, so it doesn't waste too many resources. And then soon enough, we will be making a f or trying to get a few donkeys because they can carry the carts. They're so powerful. Well, looks like he already made a sled or not. Oh, raider attack, raider. At See, there's a big group of raiders coming in. Let us sound the alarm. Two, four, six, eight, nine. But they should be pretty strong. So that's a thing. Um, but luckily we have the numbers. See, they're all going to stand here. We're going to leave the gate open because by closing it... They will all go to a different place, and that's not worth it. And everybody's running in now, so that's good. And then soon enough, I'm going to send them out onward to the raiders in big groups. Because we can only select so many people. So yes, you all can go. And then we'll select the next batch of people to also go onto the attack. And then they should all be attacking these raiders. You will probably lose a few people, so don't, don't uh, underestimate these attacks. They're strong. These are big groups of raiders, and they can do some real damage. All right, let's get back. Let's get back. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Let's unsound the alarm, and now we won. This one raider is just fleeing, or at least... Oh, he's already dead as well. All right, well, we killed all the raiders. We lost one person, I believe, which is actually quite good. I wasn't expecting that. So let's keep going. Some of our people need warm clothing. Well, we should have some wool and cloth, so that should not be too hard. Yes, we have. So that should be fixed soon enough anyways. New human joint, perfectly on time. I think they need to do some sewing in. Yeah, see, they need to do some sewing in. Probably here too. Yep, they're busy with that now. We got our first cart, another point. Time to get some donkeys at some point now. But the, the real issue now at this point for me is that it's very tempting to now just go on a speed run and do a lot of stuff. And then in the end, 
time will catch up with you because of the bad workload. So we have to pace ourselves a little bit. And then if we can, and if we can spot a couple of donkeys, make sure that we, we get them. But we should not be venturing out too far in order to get some donkeys or something. So we just have to be a little bit patient. If they're not close, then they're not close. We'll get them later. Now these are pretty close, and there's three donkeys we might capture. So let's try that. That's wild horses. These are also wild donkeys. So I'm only going to try and capture those. And their family members should not be out doing some bad stuff to us. So that's okay. All right. We have a lot of fish and a lot of meat still. We have bread. Uh, as soon as everything is sewn in, we should also be getting a new batch of bread soon. Food-wise, we are okay. And we can always go on a hunt if needed. So that's a thing to keep in mind. We are okay food-wise. And if not, then we can just go on a hunt. And workload is finally settling in again. So I'm happy with that. That probably means that we're doing okay. We got five donkeys all of a sudden. It says. So taming those donkeys worked. They should now be heading in. They still have to grow up. because We got some young animals. Seven now. So all of the taming worked apparently. That's a great feat actually. I wasn't expecting that. Mouflons, that means more sheep, I guess, but we don't need that, so let's hunt those. Let's get a couple of extra animals into our village in terms of meat. That might be a wise one. It's a mouflon. I don't really care about a mouflon. Wild donkeys. They ran away, but yeah, we have a lot of wild donkeys now. We just need enough straw for from this harvest to make sure that we get everything in. That might be a reason to get an extra field going. To ensure... Oh, please get rid of these stones. To just ensure that we have enough um, stuff like this. What's this? This is barley and emmer. We don't have einkorn yet. So let's get that so that the diseases can't really spread. What's this? Oh, that's a tree growing there. That's in the way. Yeah, pear tree. Okay. Young tree. All right. Well, we're going to plant some einkorn anyway, and then we'll get rid of those trees later on. There we go. It's not the season anymore, so they won't sow it in this year. They will do that next year, but at least we have it planned, and they can adjust to the amount of extra work that that is. Workload's now pretty high, though, so let's pause a second, set them up some... Like this. Yeah, this should be okay. Maybe get a few platforms out here already. Here and there. No, not yet. Uh, let's build some towers here. Oh. Try to get that closer in. No, not. Okay. Um, one tower there. Extra tower somewhere here. Let's build a tower near the gate here. Yes, then some platforms that might do. Okay, there we go. Ooh, we already mined 10 copper. We got three new sheep born, which also means that they will slaughter a few sheep. Because we have too many, but it's fine. These still need an animal. We have the donkeys now. They just have to grow up a little bit, which goes relatively fast. So it should not be too much of a problem. There's one of our sheepies going all the way out there. This should really help to get us some extra wool for the warm clothing and stuff. We have 50 woolen outfits now. Might need a couple more. Uh, what I'm going to tell one of these... Where's the other one? Up there. To make also some of these. Because we don't have enough warm outfits right now. And I want more. Ooh. Let's try and get some cattle too. Although we'll probably be out of straw soon. So we really need this harvest to be good. That's the one thing. The animals only eat straw. So you have to make sure that you get enough. If you don't, problem, problem. But if we can get a few heaps of cattle in already, that will be very nice. I try to sometimes be very specific in what animals I get though. So it could well be that at some point we're going to get rid of the goats. I don't want goats anymore. I don't want pigs because... They're not really that much of use. We'll just focus on the animals that give us the wool that we really need. And then the animals that can carry the plows once we get those. All the rest is not so 
not so important to me. Another sheep has been slaughtered. That's good. Come on, people, do the harvest. 500 grain. Wow, that's a big amount. 24 straw, 25 straw. Oh, that's good amounts coming in. We will be needing some straw, though, at some point to... Uh... Yeah. Oh, another knowledge point. Guess we... Oh, yeah, we got two cattle in. Nice. We need enough for those cattle to also be able to breathe and stuff, so let me get more cattle anyway. That's what the sheep are doing very well. Problem could be at some point that some of the sheep might get uh, infected with something, and then we run into an issue. Two new humans joined. Perfect. Let's keep working on our defense. It's very tempting to, at some point, just hold your defenses and uh, not work on it anymore. But I think we really need to keep working on it. So like this, and then... Yeah, like that, into the water, so that the bridge is safe. And then this area is walled off too. Then all we need is to finish uh, the area somewhat here. And we should have a completely walled off settlement except for this little corner. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. I'm not too, uh, feeling too bad about it. This is actually going quite well. Ah, we got another point. Let's get to fruit trees. That might also be something. Put up a fruit, put up a few fruit trees somewhere so that we can grow some extra fruits. Might be on this corner actually of the world. Uh, if we're lucky enough, well, we could build maybe some houses on this side. That could be interesting because it's just houses, nothing else that we need. Yeah, I was kind of afraid that there won't be any space here to build anything useful. <laughs> so we'll probably have to build some houses on these shores here. If we actually can. But these are all not straight shores. So, yeah, there's only a few places. It's not so good, actually. Maybe we have to just squeeze some in here. Yeah, there we go. Two huts, three huts. Just has to be here. We need the extra space. We have only space for five more people, I believe. Yep. So we need the extra space to make sure that uh, we can grow the village. Oh, these probably need a lot of leather. All the leather went into the different towers that we were building and such. So they need to make some leather. We do have tannin, though, and we have a lot of dry skin. So they have the option to make a lot of leather. These are all prioritized, which usually makes them work less effective. It's it's a bit weird, but if you prioritize stuff in this game, it seems to either do nothing or make things go the wrong way. So sometimes it's better to not even do that. We can get a ride domestication. But we have to trade stuff for it, and I don't want to do that. So bye-bye. Trader has arrived. Okay, well, workload's not too high. Happy with that. We got good food. Happy with that. We are starting to run a bit low on meat, though. So, very sorry, animals, but I think you will all have to go. Well, they are quite far out. Might be better if we do a posse again and just go on a hunting spree. That is sometimes more effective than selecting the animals to be hunted. Right, let's keep going. It's going to be spring soon, though. And then we're going to need a lot of workers to man all the uh, sewing equipment to get all the sewing done. So, Oh, there's a piggy family. Let's get those two. They can do that on their own. Look at them. They're all going to run out to hunt. Let's see if they can bring in some good meat with this hunt. I hope so, but you never know for sure. So we'll have to find out. But it should be okay. It should be okay. Three new sheepies born. Yay. All right, here we're going to go. We survived another winter. Food-wise, we're okay. No, we have bread for everybody. Let's speed up until we actually finish the winter. There we go. We survived another winter. 
We're doing quite okay with the village, but I'm I'm scared for the next raid, so we have to be careful. Looks like some of our donkeys grew up. That's great, so they can now start to carry carts. But that's all going to be for next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much, and bye-bye.